So let me tell you something. Pay to teach you some blessings. Whether you young or old, that shit or how you stressing. And you be thankful when them clouds lift and you get your blessings. But until then, you're going to be going through the test and you're going to be stressing. Wishing that it was over. Wishing that the cold would pass. Wishing that them warm days would come back and you remin reminisce on the past. Think about them days that shit was funny and you could laugh and now you can't even laugh because your face is covered by the mask. And I mean that in more than one way, metaphorically and literally speaking. We don't even know who we talking to anymore. It's like, what are they thinking? What were they thinking? What were they doing when they let this happen to us and brought our lives to ruin? Because that's what happened. Our lives were brought to ruin. One day we woke up and the world was different. And it's nothing that they're doing right now that looks like to me that they're going to fix it. It's like older people are going back to work and they lost their pension. How are they retiring at 70 to 80 years old and they work their entire lives? This shit makes absolutely no sense to me. It's like they spent majority of their lives away from their family. Building, planting these seeds and growing these trees to retire at the age of 80 and enjoy none of it. This shit makes no sense to me. It's not supposed to, is it? I don't think so. Okay. See, it's more than just a black or white thing or an all lives matter thing. It's a basic principle about what the fuck is going on in life thing. I mean, what are they really doing? Millions of people have died and they're debating over $2,000. While some of us are trying to determine if we're going to pay the water bill so we can take a shower or eat food or feed our dogs and cats. Some of us can't even make it to work. Some of us can't afford trash bags for our trash cans. And you guys are still sitting over there debating over two grand. Two grand, that's one month's worth of rent. And when that money is spent, they do what next? They're back in a fucking jam, totally broken, no wrench. I don't understand. No sense. Literally, no sense. No money. And y'all dick bickering, debating over some shit we gotta pay back? Are you stupid? Y'all been in office for 50, 60, 70 years. Listen, anywhere else in the world where you work and you do a bad job, you lose your job. I'm just saying. Could you imagine working at Wendy's and be the nigga working on the fries? And you always drop the fries late? And they come through like your boy. It's a big ass line. And they don't want to wait. Could you imagine being a baker? And y'all never had no cake? Could you imagine being a fireman? And the hose broke? And you make the people who were on the fire wait? They would lose their jobs. And you guys are killing millions of people and it's okay. Now, I'm not saying this to be like a conspiracy theorist or a radical person, but that shit makes no sense, no way. No way. No way, nowhere, anywhere else in the world. And you're debating over $2,000. Not that I am sitting here Waiting for you to hand it to me. No, my mama taught me to work like a man and I'm going to hand it to me myself. I built me. You can't build me. Take, destroy me. But there are some people who really need it. You know this happened before and it's funny how history keep repeating? When I say before bubonic plague, and it's like there was a rule book. It was a rule book and you guys had to touch down and it goes on in place. And then you dropped it, fumbled, and dropped the football all over the place. How? 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 